Okay. Let's go ahead and get the volume turned back up. Okay. So. Um, by the way, somebody did give me the clue. I don't think we've played since then. The reason I've not been able to fix my, um, my tools is because it requires a hammer to do so. So I probably will just go ahead and start carrying that on me again, just because it just makes sense. Um, you never know when we're going to be places and we're going to need to fix it and we're not going to have stuff to do it. Hello, chickens. You're out of food, you're out of water. There is one egg in here. Which I can't get to at the moment. Alright, let's go ahead and get you guys sorted out. And then we'll see how well it goes for... the rest of the feeding the animals. Okay. Oh shoot, I did that once before, dang it. Oh, I was trying to collect the egg, and if you've got the grain in your hand, you end up putting grain in twice, which ends up... it loses grain. Okay, I believe I have some eggs that are for sale in one of these. I didn't realize I had these open. Wait, are they open? No, they're not open. Okay. So, how are my fruit trees, by the way? I assume we'll be able to visibly see any fruit. Oh my gosh, look at all the grain. So, the, um, for anybody that is playing, uh... There is a challenge running right now. Uh, it'll probably be, by the time this video goes live on YouTube, that challenge will probably be done. Um, but the developers of the game put out a challenge on their Discord page that you're supposed to provide screenshots of your farm and then the community will be able to vote on them to decide whose is the best. Mine is by far not the best by any stretch of the imagination, so I'm not going to submit mine. However, those of you that are playing that have really cool farms, you might want to submit yours uh, but that said it makes me want to build in mine and make sure that mine looks pretty as well let's put the cassava in there oh right this thing doesn't work quite the same way so let's do that okay but one of the things i do want to do in this episode is i would like to get to the golden swamp and i would like to um, I was told that you can actually continue chopping trees and mining and those kinds of things after you are 100% tired. And so I think we're probably going to do that at some point. We're probably just going to go and we're just going to get all of the resources that we can, avoiding all of the Shreks, um, because there's so much stuff that needs to be crafted and has to have um, rope and duct tape and just... So I need tons of plant fiber and tons of fat. I was also going to look... A lot of people want me to build a refrigerator. I keep getting those comments in on my... Yeah, I'm not that far yet is the problem. They want me to build that. They keep putting comments on my YouTube videos. And unfortunately, my electronics is just not high enough yet. How close am I? I'm like not even. I've got 100 and what, 32 points before I get to the next level where I would be able to build the fridge, which is why we're still stuffing things in the cell chests the oh there's the spoilage meter they're talking about interesting so now the question is if i eat this yeah see it seems like the one on the top is always the one that's like it's not the spoiled one that's eaten first if that makes sense. Oh, there's spoilage in here now. <gasps> they did it. Game, you're killing me. I mean, it makes sense. I figured it would be patched at some point, but... <laughs> 
All right, uh, what can we craft? I think we needed a bunch of electrical wire, so we might as well get that stuff crafting. We got some duct tape. Here we go. Here's the plus 10. We also have to craft a repair kit, and I need to figure out where that's done at. And I apologize, I was uh, muted there for a minute because that was intentional. I got back from walking my dogs, and somehow they always turn into, um, they, they go a little psycho when they get back. They go outside and in the cold weather, and then they come back in, and they just go rip-roaring through the house. Uh, right, um, repair kit. How do I make a repair kit for my boat? because I'm going to need one. I don't know if we can even use the boat again. I'm guessing that must be in the... I don't think it's in here. I think I just looked in here. Tools, fertilizers, grains, hay buckets. Fishing bait. Yeah, I don't see anything in here, so I wonder if it's in the electronics bench? What else have we not crafted as far as benches? God, we need to make cheese machines, beverage machines, wine machines. This is all very exciting stuff. I was hoping this would get done um, just so that we could check this and see if this is where the repair kit is. Repair kit. Oh, I need an iron hammer. I think I sold mine. Two iron ingots and an iron hammer. Yeah, I got a machete left. Are you sure you don't want that? I guess that means I'm out of nails, too. I think I need nails to... Oh, no, it's just logs. Okay, let me grab a log. Actually, two. Just need my hammer. Need the hammer. <laughs> All right, let's make a repair kit. I have no idea if it's just one of these for the boat. Maybe we'll go down and check that quickly. Hello, chickens. You guys don't go very far. Mildred, Stella, Isabella. I want to go down and check it just because if I need to make another, I would like to go... I would like to leave as early as possible to try to get over to the other island. This really wasn't the best way to go to get to the beach. Not to the pier, anyway. Let's try to run a little bit. Move it along. Mineable. Nope, just decorative. That is definitely one of the things I'm struggling with is a lack of iron, which I'm guessing a lot of people were because that's they started putting, um, like I said, they, they've decreased the uh, 
respawn rate of those types of things. Uh, it's decreased twice now. All right, let's try to repair our boat. You can see my resistance is at 10 out of 50. Yeah, that took it all the way up to 50 out of 50. And I just need a gas can yet too. I do not have enough fuel, which I did not remember. So it's a good thing we came down here. fuel. I need a... I need oil. Make me some oil. I think I need three for a gas can. There we go. 84 electrical wires. Go. Just make them all. Just need some iron ingots. Okay, we are headed back to that island tomorrow. And we are just going to mine everything. got some keys on me. I've got tools. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's have a coconut. So I kept asking when we went to the island before, I kept asking about whether or not you would be able to sleep on the boat, similar to how you do in a game like, you know, Summer and Mara. And as far as I'm aware, that's not going to be available. However, you do have the ability to build camp, uh, camp tents and campfires, um, but those are not available yet. Uh, the camp kit specifically that you need for the camp tent is not in the game yet. So that's sad. The tourists are here. Yay. All right, let's refuel our boat. And let's go to the swamp. Whoops, let's go to the swamp. <laughs> Okay, so we just want everything. Like as much stuff as we can get. This gives us plenty of plant fibers, plenty of wood, plenty of fat. This is going to be a bit of a slog to get through this, but I just want all of the resources because it's going to make things so much easier for things like leveling up the electronics so I can get the fridge. Thank you for the apple.
Yeah, this island is wonderful for things like that. That was definitely a, a limitation at the beginning of the game. Are, are you mineable? I think you're decorative. You are not mineable. What about you? You are mineable. That's exciting. We need to catch our breath. Should probably stop running so much. Is this one of these? Oh, nope. That's just plant fiber. There's some of those um, weedy things that they look... They've got a bluish tint to them that give you coffee seeds. Which, by the way, I think you need to make a beverage machine for in order to make coffee. Which we should do. Because we do love the coffee in this stream. Come Shrek. He does not appreciate me being here. to get some health back before he hits me again. I mean, I would like to not... Oh, gosh. I was going to say, I would like to not be hit again. I thought I was far enough away that he wouldn't hit me on that one. Can you get stuck on some of these tree stumps? Just long enough that I can get some health back. And maybe some stamina. There you go, you stay there. <laughs> you think his pathing would change at some point. It does not seem to want to. But they definitely hit for anywhere up to about 60 points. So I'd like to make sure before I go back in to take a couple swipes at him that I've got at least 60 points of health. Come on. Thank you. Uh-oh. It was a weird angle to be trying to hit him on. I don't want to teleport back home, to be frank. Maybe we should just let him go. I'm here for resources. They do tend to give you a lot of gold, those guys. But it's... I just spent all of the resources on the repair kit and also on the, the gas, the fuel to get here. I would like to not waste them by being teleported back home. Nope. Cannot mine those.
I do like when you get to hit two plants at the same time. It makes it much faster. Are you mineable? Nope. They fake you out like that. They have a slightly different texture, but it's not quite as apparent as you would like it to be. Cannot harvest cherries. I can continue chopping, but I cannot harvest cherries when I'm tired. Got it. my fuel can? I swore I had to refuel the boat before we came. I only made one, I thought. That was a lot of plants all at the same time. Ugh, the stamina regeneration, though. People were trying to convince me to stay around and chop things when I was dead tired, but the stamina regen, ugh, it's miserable. stuff do we have at this point? 300 fat, 200 wood, 397 fiber. I mean, that's good. I was kind of hoping to just go home with just loads and loads. So it was something I didn't have to think about for a while. Grab a couple more trees and then we'll head home, I guess. This would be a whole different story once they get that camping kit in. Because once we can camp here, as long as we can do so safely where we're not attacked by giants, we will do it. Oh, and I've actually never... Um, there was something that we were talking about in one of the recent streams, and I guess kind of thought about it, and is that because of all the changes that they made in the game, we were talking, um, some people were considering restarting. And, you know, I actually did consider that pretty seriously for a while myself, because um, in these types of games, I'm a min-maxer. I want to make sure that I'm doing things in the best way possible to conserve resources and obviously there's a lot of resources now that just 
one example is that they have decreased the level of uh, the number of copper ores that you need to craft to craft copper ingots. Um, so that means that all of the copper ingots that I've crafted to date, they've all required three. Now, um, the one anybody that is starting a new game, they only require two. Um, which is obviously means that I did not get the min maxing from that. And so it kind of pains me to not restart, but at the same time, there's going to be changes up until the point where... Let's refuel this. Okay, maybe I did accidentally make two. I have no idea. All right, let's go back home. Anyway... It would be awesome to restart, but I think they're going to just keep making changes and I can't restart every time. I mean, at some point we need to actually have a game and have the ability to, you know, build stuff and those kinds of things. So I'm just going to, at this point, I'm going to just keep grinding along to make up for the, the things that we missed. And then obviously when the game is released in full, um, when it's no longer in early access, we will restart again and hopefully get all the benefits that everybody else is getting as they restart now. Because this is an awesome game. I like it a lot. And it'll be even better once they get things in, like, these staff people that they're going to be putting in at some point. Oh, these are mineable. Look at that. I've been short on iron ore for a while. And of course, that's one of the things that's going to be respawning a little more frequently. Nope, not that one. What about you? Nope. We are so slow. Look at all those electrical wires that are done. We need to make just tons of duct... Oh, right. We cannot do this right now because we are wiped out. Let's go to bed. Let's have a salad. And a coconut. Maybe two. And then let's go to bed. How about nine? Nine. Yeah, that looks good. We will not be tired at all. Sorry guys, needed to grab a drink there. I was getting a little thirsty myself. All right, let's go ahead and open the shop stalls for today so we can see what this new icon is like when people want to buy things. All right, we got one open for the day. Oh, I got money in this one. got to open you up. There we go. I just want to make tons of duct tape. Oh gosh, I got us really close in electronics, actually. All right, let's go ahead and make here 10 more. Well, actually, it's 11 more because it starts at one and then it adds 10. Uh, here comes some people. All right, so they're white icons right now. What do they turn into when somebody wants to buy something? By the way, somebody was 
um, having, they mentioned in Discord, I'd mentioned this at one point too, when the guys go to the back of the shop, they're apparently going to try to fix the pathing for that. They're supposed to stay in the front. You can really get a lot of information from the Discord if you're ever interested. Oh, he, yeah, he turned green. Oh my gosh, he bought four eggs. Wait, he bought four eggs? Four eggs should have been 400, not 200. Unless they changed the price on that. Okay, right, I can... Oh, somebody now wants to buy something. Where are you, person that wants... Okay. They sometimes lose patience really, really quickly or something because the dollar sign will no more than pop up and all of a sudden they're running away. Somebody had turned green on the mini-map and then they were gone till I got here. Okay, well you guys have fun. I'd like to craft some copper ingots so that we can make more. Yeah, 200. They must have changed the price on those eggs. Do my chickens have any eggs? I would like to assess this myself. Anybody? Egg? There's... what? There's 11... How are there 11 eggs in there? Oh yeah, they're worth 50 now. Aha! Uh -huh. Game? Mm-hmm. I see you, game. Here comes the next wave of Taurus to buy things. Okay, so which one? Okay, that was weird. So they do lose their dollar sign icons, though. I only noticed him because he went green on the minimap. That might still require a little bit of work. Because I think it probably should visually be in both places so that you know when the person wants to buy something by the mini-map, but you can come up here and actually see... Oh, he has his this time. He bought a cherry. You really should buy more than one. That's not going to last very long. Oh, he bought one wheat. I guess that's not much better. Um, oh my gosh, he bought seven of the eggs. Some peppers for you. Yeah, I lose patience with this fairly quickly. I need staff people. I don't want to stand here and stare at Taurus. And the fact is, is since they seem to lose patience sometimes so quickly. This is a neat mechanic, though. I like that they have this in the game. Like I said, I like it even better once we get staff people. You want... Oh, see. He got the dollar sign, and then he was immediately gone. All right, well.
Hey, you want something. What do you want? Garlic? Have fun with that. So these shop stalls, when I built these... Oh, these did cost 2000 Okay, because I had moved this the one time. I had moved um, one of them. One of them I built new, and I was trying to figure out where all of my money had gone to. Now I know. I'm out of salad. Alright, you want eggs. The eggs are the big seller, apparently. Hey, my electronics improved. That should mean that I should be able now to make the fridge. What do I need for the fridge? Because then I can stop using the shop stalls as my... Fridge. Why am I having a moment here? Fridge. Home. Fridge. Ten electrical wires, batteries, mechanical parts, electrical parts, iron ingots. I surprisingly probably have most of that. I don't have enough mechanical parts, I don't think. But due to a whole debacle where I was trying to get to the miller, because I thought I needed it to make chicken feed, I have... Quite a few electrical parts, I believe. And I have the battery from that as well. By the way, he just walked right through me, so that is evidence of the fact that there's no longer collision with the Taurus. Very sad. That's because you're out of food and water again. I can only handle so much of these shop stalls. I need to shut them down. All right, what would you like? You got 10 seconds to make up your mind. Not moving fast enough. I'm done. <laughs> no more shop stalls for the day. Oh, goodness. I want to make the... Okay, let's find out what we've got going on as far as... I needed screws. Electrical parts. Here's some wire. Here's a battery. Here's some mechanical parts. Iron ingots. I needed some of those. Here's iron ore, which we need to smelt into iron ingots. I just need screws. That was fixed too, by the way. Um, the items used to drop on top of the chest. They now drop on top of the player when you do that. Alright, hurry up with the screws. I want to make my fridge.
Ooh, there's not very much space in there. All right, let's go get some of the stuff that... I could have left the chest there, probably. Let's put a chest down here. Can we make an iron chest? Let's make some more screws and we can make an iron chest. Why was I coming up here? Oh, to get food out of these. The food that I would like to keep, anyway. Oh, I have no inventory space. So it'll be interesting to see... Somebody told me that this eliminated... The fridge eliminates spoilage permanently. Okay. Um, what do I want to put in here? Realistically, this stuff. Sure, you can have that as well. But this is stuff has all been kind of up here, and I always have to run, run around for it. 